Hi ho, tally ho! Again and again. Which means I need to get some meat. Alrighty, out and away, ha! Tally ho! Ugh, I'm tired. Okay. That's. Uh, apparently, I can't really go anywhere. But hey, let's go to the giant wind control device. See what we can do here. And we run and run and run. A lot of running. Come on. Okay, a bunch of stuff is set up. It looks like the old Bakelian wind control device has been set to suck again. But what's that tubing around its fingers all about? Very good question. It's probably something set up for later. Alrighty. Return to the jungle entrance. Luckily, we have a map that lets us uh, go around the place. Let's review it. Uh, look at it. Let's see. There's the thing. Uh, there's that. The altar. Let's see. Which one's the entrance? This is the entrance. Alrighty. That. There's that all over the place. There's the jungle altar. There's the thumbprint. There's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. Let's go. This way first. Yay, no more listening to birds and bees and whatnot to uh, find my way around. Yes, I hear you. Pardon me while I go check that out. Alrighty, I'm back. And while I was away, I remembered something that I need to do for this. See... The map actually has a bit of a puzzle to it, and I've got to know how to fiddle everything in order to go where I need to go. I just can't remember where that is. That goes nowhere, of course. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, yeah, so I need to get to there, and then I should be able to... get to the little question mark, which means... Okay. How we go this way, then? Which should take me up and over to here, and then I take the up route to... Come on. The red one. And then I flip this around. So go boom, boom, boom. And, aha! Everything shifts. Ooh, what is in the secret palace? The secret place. Ooh, it's a treasure box. It's the mysterious chest of foreshadowing in the Voodoo Lady's shack. Who knows what sort of useful voodoo bric-a-brac lurk in its locked timbers. Aha. But more importantly, how am I going to unlock it to find out? Oh, yes. How am I ever going to unlock it? It's not like I haven't unlocked anything before in this Let's entire see. game. What do I have now that I didn't have the last time I tried to open this chest? <laughs> Ow! Stupid hook! Oh, it can't be that easy. What do you mean it can't be that easy? You've used it to unlock plenty of things before you... <laughs> Chest and... The Voodoo Lady's tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Okay. And that is the sixth sense, okay. which... That's a pretty good trick. Yeah. Which I'll have to do later. Alright, let's take a look at this again. I need to get back out. No. Alrighty. I wonder what happens if I try to exit this way. Aha! Stupid fabric of... Ouch. Reality. Haha. -ha. I have no idea where I am currently, but... Let's see. Next place I need to go is the Voodoo Shack, which is there. I need to go to... There, then there, then there. Okay. Tally-ho, tally-ho. Yes, there is stuff at the Voodoo Shack that I need. Come on. Run this way. 
Oh wait, I don't have everything that I need for the shack yet, do I? But I can at least what see what's here. What is the name of Bluebeard's hair dye? Hey, Ooh. no pochi. I have called dibs. I think I may be lost. Shouldn't there be a creepy voodoo shack right about there? There yeah. was. Until they came to arrest that pox-spreading voodoo lady. And like I said, it all just went poof. First came the flames. Poor Saint <coughs> Nipperkin went up like Saint Elmo's fire. Then she emerged from the conflagration, mumbling ancient curses with every regal step. I never forget the baleful stare she fixed me with as she was left well. And look, condemning me to a lifetime of suffering, shame, and regret. Spooky. Very. If that wasn't bad enough, I, I haven't found one bit of cool voodoo stuff in the wreckage. Come on. You know, aside Justice from... can be so unfair. You know, aside from all these voodoo moths... Looks like the light of the shack's embers has attracted a swarm of jungle moths. That ah, yes. That explains what happened to the voodoo lady's rug. Well, hey, I've got a special light that... I thought I needed something else, too. Whoa! Haha. -ha. Uh-oh. Hmm. Looks like these finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Ha, -ha. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, let's just go to the jungle entrance, get the heck out of this jungle. Tally-ho, tally-ho. And go back to the dock. To the dock! Alright, run, Guybrush, run, because you are so very slow. So very, very slow. Come on, run, run, run. Okay. Hey! That's do 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 do. Oh, Hold it up to the sign. They should flock to it, or maybe not. Maybe I just need to hold it up to stand. All right, little fellas, check out these high def duds. Woohoo! Well, that's ah. just great. The lamp's dead. Which hey, they just float up to there. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Which is a good thing. I just gotta remember how to... How to, how to, how to... Oh, God, how do I get the moths down there again? Stan! Guybrush, old pal! Can you... jingle around a bit more? Arr! Can I take another... What's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu Lechuktal. Press the button for its special transforming glow. Ah, yes. It glows a brilliant blue. Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Aha, they flock hey, down. Now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That, ah! That hurts! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sweet, ah! Fancy! Moses! They're eating him pantsless! Ha -ha. Ouch! Kaza! Huzzah! And hey, I have some fancy, fancy fabric now. That was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the and back office. And you couldn't, office, you know, be lose my one? In the all -together. Say, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man. Naked attorney at law. No, thank you. You've got nothing to hide, and neither does he. No, thank um, you, Stan. No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. I hope I never get to see that. Alrighty, the high def uh, fabric. Which is the first thing I need for the recipe. Here, let's open it up so I can see everything again. Ha, ha, ha. Alrighty, first thing is the napkin. Second thing is antipasta jungle meat. Which... I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Yep, yep. Alrighty, so first we put you on you. You with you combine. Now we need some jungle meat. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye popping napkins around the non existent necks of mystical sponges. Yep, yep. Alrighty, so now we need some meat. Where do I get some meat for. I know I have to go to the jungle beast that I get the jungle beast meat. But I'm not sure, can't remember where I get some actual meat. Maybe Club 41 guy will have some. 
WP, where's some meat? I need me some grub. Tally ho, tally ho! To the club door! Ha ha!